With Hogwarts Legacy, there is so much on offer within this game, it's unreal. Another exciting feature is the Room of Requirement. This is basically your own area within the game which you can customise, craft and create and even collect and look after beasts. Yes, sounds cool right? Well today I will explain all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video or leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this game is full of surprises. The Room of Requirement is another one which is just absolutely amazing. So the Room of Requirement is your home within Hogwarts, your own personal space which you can heavily customise. You can literally guys make this place your own. Firstly a little more on this place as it's your own within Hogwarts, it's going to be a place where you spend a lot of time. So it's like no doubt why we can customise it so heavily. But besides actually customising the area guys, this is where you will upgrade and create for your character in regards to potions and tools for the battle, gear pieces and much much more. These I believe are all crafted and brewed within the room of requirement. So to start here guys, we are seeing the ability to change the entire ceiling within this area. But it doesn't end there, you can change, add, remove edit most objects within this room to furniture, chairs, workbenches, wall ornaments and much much more. You can truly make this place your own. Now back to the main purpose of this area which is indeed customising, crafting and upgrading your player. Okay so firstly we are seeing here the enchanted loom. Now this will be a feature that which you will unlock in which you can upgrade your wearable gear by adding many different buffs to said gear. Now I will have a video talking about upgrading in depth which will be a part of my Hogwarts playlist so you can check it out and many other videos on the game but to simplify it the loom allows you to apply upgrades, traits and other things to perfect your wizard or witch in regards to the spells you want to use. So if you want to go down a certain route of sorcery, do a certain trait you can apply to certain gear or to your gear which will help you along the way. Now you can they say lock how you want to lock. Meaning if you find an amazing piece, which you just want to wear, that's fine. The loom allows you to do just that, which is sort of like a transmog system I guess, but I'm not sure it works that way. But you can apply traits and upgrades to gear, which allows you to do this, which is cool. Also within this room is the identification station. Now as you play this game, you will find gear which you will need to identify to see what it offers and what's possible with it. This is where you bring it guys, you bring it to the identification station. Now another part of this room is the potting table which you can customise as well. Change the look of, change the colour of and so much more. What these are used for is basically to grow things to use within your tools, your potions to help you in that battle. Again an in depth look at this will be a part of that upgrading video. We also guys here have a potion station where you can brew those potions. These again are used in battle via that tool tab. There's no doubt guys going to be other stations here which you can basically earn and unlock which help you along the way in regards to brewing said potions. Another amazing part of the room requirement guys is the beast care section which consists guys of you basically taming wild beasts you will find out in the open wild world via dens etc etc and you'll be able to bring them back here keep them and look after them. In doing this guys it means you'll have to care for these beasts here and that means you'll have to feed them too. Now what are the benefits you are wondering? Well certain potions or even gear which we've spoke about just will require certain materials. So whether that's a item you're crafting, a potion you're brewing, materials will be needed. And certain materials guys you will receive from these beasts once they have become accustomed to you via you raising them good and treating them right. Now another thing about the beast care area, yes you can customise it a lot like inside the room of requirement, adding objects to the area to make it look better or even once you've unlocked them via playing and levelling up, you can add things like beast feeders which allows for the beast within the area to feed automatically so you don't have to do it manually which is cool. And you can even purchase toy boxes so you can play with these beasts but it doesn't end there. You can also name these beasts at the same time so they are truly your in-game pets. And as you play guys, this area will only expand and your options to customise it here get bigger and bigger. So yes people that's basically the room of requirement. 
your home within Hogwarts and what you can do here. This is your go to place to craft, build, brew and so much more. And there we have it guys. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.